hello and welcome to another video in this video we are customizing gnome in terms of being a linux based desktop environment it's really limited on customization i don't know why that is although gnome is a really clean and nice looking dish show but in terms of customizability and sometimes a bit of you know it gets a bit annoying with the way gnome works but fear not we have extensions and it can drastically make your system look different than what it was so uh, if you see here uh, this is the uh, default uh, gnome desktop environment that you all may be familiar with and i'm using arc linux so we will try to customize this just a little bit to spice it up a bit and uh, I'll show you what we will be getting in the end, but uh, you don't have to do it exactly how I do it. I'll go through each extension and give you a rough idea of what each one of them does. And you can pick and choose between which one you like and however you want to customize them. But I can guarantee you'll like most of them. So the first thing that you will notice when like as soon as you get known is this bar right here. Now, for those of you who came from Windows or maybe even Linux Mint or uh, any distribution that has a panel in the bottom or even Mac OS, which has a like dash, sorry, a dock in the middle, this looks rather, you know, I'll say it's an interesting choice. Again, I'm not saying it's bad, like it's good to have a sleek uh, bar on top, but uh, it looks too bland. So if you want to spice it up a bit, the first thing that you need to do in this setup process is get the extension manager. Now this will help you beyond your expectations. So the search in the software tab. So this comes uh, pre-installed with GNOME. So you can just type in extension and you can see this one right here and you should have this. Uh, this is basically the extension manager and if you're using a Debian based system uh, It's much easier. You can literally just type in uh, this command right here To get this one installed. So the extension manager installed just install it from here And I already have this installed. So let's just jump right into it So first We'll just open this and here are the extensions that we will be going through today. So the first thing is, again, we'll start simple and see what we can do with work, what we have. So the option blur my shell, you can see that it adds different blur look to different type of norm shell. Now this will not uh, drastically change your you know gnome but it'll just add that little bit of uh how do you put it a little bit of uh charisma to your system so if i just enable this uh, you can see this already became a bit transparent a bit blurrier and it blends in more and again you can customize every single thing about this so you can see that there are effects so which effects do you want uh, you can see it says corner. You can have them radi the change the radii of it. So you can also add effects. So you can have noise, colors. Like there is a lot you can add. But by default, I think the default one looks relatively nice. And uh, you can see you have different type of blurs. So again, you can see it says panel blur. So if I disable this, it will become literally black and if i enable this it will be a bit transparent a bit more clean you can see you can have high desktop bars and there is a lot to play with here you can see it has transparent you can have them light yeah there is a lot to play around here so uh, go in here play around with uh, whichever you like whichever you don't like so whichever you like, whichever you don't like, and then customize it to your heart's content. Now let's say you are not that 
like fond of this menu right here which i personally am not uh mostly because you no know, it's nice but i don't like the look of it but most of you would prefer something more mac or windows like or even some other linux distribution which have a panel or dock in the bottom section uh, it doesn't have to be in the bottom but there there's the option should be nice so there are two extension one is dash to dock and one is dash to panel now if i enable dash to dock you can see that it adds a nice little you can see it adds a nice little menu in the bottom which uh, lets us access it lets us access our apps you can see we have our favorite application right here and this will give you more of a mac like look and you can also again customize everything in here you can have the icon size so you can make them large or small depending on what you prefer uh, you can have scales you can have intelligent auto hide basically it will hide the dog uh, when you put something over it and if you just leave it on it will just as you can see stay on top and it has the customization you can put it literally everywhere like anywhere you like and also change which display you want to put it on so it has a lot of customizability uh, in terms of having a dock but unfortunately this does not work with blur my shell but on the other hand the dash to panel literally puts your panel in the bottom section and this is something that i really like now i do enjoy the you know, linux look but i'm more used to using windows because you know i record in windows and i'm most comfortable with it so this is what i prefer more again customization is everyone's personal preference so you can do it however you like now so in the dash to uh, dash to panel you can see it it has a nice blur to it now this is thanks to blur my shell if i turn it off you can see it has its own transparency but if i turn on blur my shell let me just turn it on again as you can see it has a nice gradient to it and uh, this is mostly because uh, blur my shell is uh, actually using so a static one will give you a gradient feel a dynamic one will more try to match the background now you can keep i do like to keep it in dynamic that's why it was feeling kind of weird so i do like to keep it in dynamic because it matches what i am trying to do and blurs it accordingly so it doesn't feel like the same like color all around the place now again speaking of windows so if you are using dash to panel uh, it kind of gets weird when where uh, you don't have the menu for all application you have this menu right here but it's kind of you know meh so to fix that issue you have arc menu now this is like this will change your life <laughs> like this this is that good if i enable it you can see the little menu pops up now i have it customized so yours may not uh, look like uh, the arc logo but i'll show you in a bit and you can install all of this just by going to the browse feature right here and then typing the name out and literally just clicking install it's that simple then uh, if i just uh, click on this as you can see this looks much better uh, we have the color colors matching we have uh, custom icons right here we have everything organized and even in the all apps it's actually sorted with the letter and you don't have to like use this particular style there are a lot of styles and when i say a lot of style i do mean a lot of style so if i go to menu layout you can see there's a simple five categories right here if i click on one you can see this has some in it this has a lot of it in it you have some uh, if you are using something that uses touch panels so uh, this has elementary OS, even chromebooks looks you have launcher menus literally you have the gnome overview as well and you have another level. 
So I personally use the mint one mostly because again it has nice icons. It looks a bit nicer like to me, and you can do a lot in here. But if I talk about every extension for like an hour, it will still not end. Like there is that much to do in each one of them. So if you are someone who likes to customize your desktop, like. Play around with these extensions and you will have the time of your life. And then now you can see that, well, we have our menu. Uh, we have a nice looking, you know, panel, acceptable. Now, something is that uh, we need some statistics, you know, some uh, information about our system. So it's really annoying if you have to like go to stop or, you know, maybe... Uh, some other uh, system to see what your system is actually doing or how much resource your system is con um, consuming. In that case, you can have vitals. Again, if it seems like I'm going out of order, mostly because uh, to tie these things together, it's good to you know install them sequentially so you don't mess up your look. So if I just turn this on, you can see a little handy menu pops up here. And if I click on it, as you can see, it will show everything about your system. So how much memory your system is using. And if you click on each one of this, it will show what you want to show. So how much usage, how much available RAM do we have, how much swap memory we have. So you can see your network, you can see your storage, literally everything. And again, this also has a lot of customizability. If you have a, a laptop, you can actually monitor your battery. So if you turn this on, I don't have a battery, I'm using a desktop. But uh, it will, see, for me it shows no data. But if you are do using this on a laptop, it will show a lot more because, well, a laptops usually tend to report more to the system. And you have also have a GPU information, although it's for NVIDIA only. That's really ironic since Linux, uh, sorry, NVIDIA doesn't play too well with Linux, but sure. Again, play around with these values and whatever whatever you like and don't like. And again, these are extensions. So if something goes wrong, you can literally just uh, scrap everything and start over. Now, uh, let's go here, which is app icon taskbar. Now, this one is for someone who is actually, you don't using, sorry, you're not using dash to panel and you actually prefer using this menu right here, then uh, app icon taskbar is actually a really good option for you. So if I open this, as you can see, all your apps will be displayed up here. So if you are someone who is using this top menu right here, you don't have to like use dash to panel. Uh, you can use this menu right here and you can also add your favorites. You can add apps, you can add everything that you could ever want. And again, everything extension will work for all of this. So dash to dog, dash to panel. Uh, this will work for everything. And dash to panel is basically just uh, taking your top panel and just bringing it down. So it's a right. And as you can see, yes, dash to panel kind of breaks when you use both of these together. So uh, that's why I wanted to show that. Then you can see this on right here which is app indicator and case status notifier item support it, this is basically to show you the background apps so if you have any application that runs on the background now windows show windows shows this just by having a little uh, window in the bottom it has a little window in the bottom that just pops up and shows you whatever it's uh, has running on the background or going on and you can close it from there but and GNOME, there doesn't seem to be that option. So you can enable this. And whenever an app is in the background, it will show up in your, like. So it will show up in here. Then we have desktop icons. So if I enable this, as you can see, some things popped up in your desktop. So if you are someone... Uh, who likes to put things in your desktop so just to have them on hand then this is a lifesaver now i know most of us don't like having like stuff on your desktop just to make it look cleaner but 
a lot of us want functionality uh, where uh, gnome by default does not allow you to put stuff on the desktop which is really weird because almost every desktop environment lets you do that uh, again maybe some aesthetic choices <laughs> i don't know but sure you can have uh, this uh, extension which is desktop icons and it will let you have desktop icons so this is basically pulling from the desktop folder that you have in your files so if i go in files uh, you can see this folder right here and it shows empty mostly because this doesn't show up here <laughs> but if i put something here so if i just make a new folder so as you can see it pops up right here so it's just pulling from here but again it's good to have now there's uh, something that you all also may enjoy which is gs connect it's basically kde connect so if you're someone who uses your phone and your laptop or desktop uh, concurrent with each other connected to each other and you want to communicate between those two then gs connect is a really good option for gnome so for kde you have kde connect and i think uh, kde connect basically installs on everything so uh, for gnomes exclusively you have gs connect it will allow you to so if i open this it will allow you to connect your devices and uh, communicate between them and you can uh, install the app from uh, play store or app store you can see if i if you go in here you see it has android and it also has an ios counterpart so you don't have to worry about uh, what platform your phone is on as soon as long as you don't have a windows phone Till then, you are good to go. Then we have this little handy thing. Now, it's not too much. It's basically a desktop applet. So, if you have like a million things open and you just want to close them, like minimize everything just to take a breather, just click on this and it will minimize everything you have on the screen. You know, let's say you are maybe working or maybe, you know, doing something suspicious. Now, I won't put any fingers but you know, i hope you get what i'm talking about then uh, this is a really good option also you know sometimes we just want to breathe <laughs> from everything we're doing then this one will allow you to just have a button right here just click on it and it will close everything for you also this menu right this thing right here also does the same thing so if you are using the dash to panel you Technically, don't need this, but again, not everybody will, you know, go with the dash to panel. Some of you may actually just use the default panel right here, and this one looks actually looks better on the default panel. So there we go. So again, this is just a quick overview of the extension that I like to use, and. I would encourage you to at least try them out if you like them just leave a comment down below which ones do you like which ones i should try and overall what you think about uh, gnome in general so 